Now at five, you're looking at video of Ward 8 Councilmember Trayon White leaving D.C. federal court just a few hours ago after pleading not guilty to a bribery charge. Yeah, White's legal troubles are playing out as he faces an important deadline for his reelection. Today is the deadline for him to pull his name out of the race for the Ward 8 seat. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz was inside the courtroom today. He's now live outside of district court with the latest on these really two big issues for Ward 8. Rafael, tell us more. That's right. Huge issues, Lorenzo and uh, Leslie. Today, uh, Trayon White's defense lawyer waived his right to a speedy trial. Now, prosecutors want his trial to start sometime in April, but tonight we still don't have a set day. We also found out today in court that Trayon White refused a plea deal from federal prosecutors. God is good. Those were Councilmember Tran White's words as he left federal court this afternoon after pleading not guilty to a single bribery charge. Just six days after his indictment, federal prosecutors accused White of agreeing to accept $156,000 in bribes to pressure city agencies to extend contracts for one of his associates. Court documents say those contracts were worth more than $5 million and were dedicated for violence intervention work in the district. Well, we believe in our council member. Jawar Abraham was one of the Ward 8 residents who packed today's courtroom in support of White. The, the FBI sent an informant, uh, someone that was working for them, to set the council member up. Court documents indicate that the informant who worked with the FBI recorded White accepting envelopes with cash, totaling $35,000. Today, prosecutors said they offered White a plea deal on August 22nd, but the offer was rejected on September 6th. No, I don't have anything to say at all. White's defense lawyer refusing to get into the details of the plea agreement. He's continuing his run. White's campaign manager says the Ward 8 council member has no plans of exiting the race for his reelection. Trayon White name is on the ballot. We will continue to be in the community as always to continue and further his work. We should not let this divide us. If found guilty, Trayon White could face up to 15 years in prison. Now, we're also following up on what's next for him. He's due back here in court on November 13th. On that day, we'll find out when the tentative trial date could be. As for his job as a council member, he says he'll be back at the Wilson Building on Monday when the D.C. Council is set to return from their summer recess. Live in the district, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9. A lot to follow on this day for sure, Rafa. Thank you.